What's up everyone? Little over iced Pellegrino left this in the fridge, so gotta deal with the cold. Anyways, welcome back to another YouTube video. Wasn't supposed to film a vlog, but I have to go to Helsinki tomorrow again, so I thought since I'm leaving my place, might as well take you guys with me and start the vlog basically the same way as the last one, so I'm not gonna be doing anything else today. Thought I'd film the intro for this video and, you know, get the video started. One thing I can say right now is I've been selling a lot of stuff on my Instagram. Kinda impulse did that today. Just looked at my clothes and I was like, yeah, this is like the first time I want to sell stuff and, you know, buy new stuff that I can use uh, more often, basically. So I'm selling my Namacheco Paiu jacket, if that one hasn't sold yet my Dior Cummerbund jeans, Helmut Lang cargos, Raph Simmons bomber jacket, and my LV trainers. I can post something when I put this video up if I have some of these on sale still, or perhaps all of them. Reason for this was really because I want that Rick Owens leather jacket. Uh, the guy who commented on the last video really, <laughs> you, you got this uh, thought in my head because like in the comment he said that next time I go to Helsinki I need to buy a Rick Owens leather, leather jacket and the first time I was in Helsinki like the vlog way back at the start of the year I tried a Rick Owens leather jacket loved it then now I went again tried another one loved it and it's been grail of mine for a long time but they are so stupidly priced I think it's justifiable I think the price is justifiable but it doesn't take away the fact that it is so expensive when I've put on a Rick leather jacket every time it's just hit different it's been a jacket that you know has everything that I really want in like a leather jacket. I need other jackets as well, so if I get all of this stuff sold that I'm selling right now, we might have a pretty good pickups video on the way. Right after when I said that I'm not gonna be buying shit, in my defense, everything's gonna be bought with the money that has came through the sales, you know, of my clothes. So I won't be basically using any money. I'm just kinda rotating my wardrobe getting some new pieces and switching it up a bit when I will be able to get that leather jacket. Essence has a few on really good discounts, but the prices are still disgusting. But you know, they are so nice and the sale season is coming to an end soon, so we might have to bite the bullet pretty soon. Anyways, that's it for right now. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. That that you will see is the most finished thing ever. I don't know what that is called, but like a boat, you know, goes on the sea. That's like a floating sauna. It has a sauna within and has a grill and stuff, you know, so people can <laughs> go to the sauna and get fucked up. But it is really cool, don't get me wrong, but that is just, that is just so finished, man. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna head to the train station soon. Just a simple all black fit today. Not gonna be at Helsinki too long. I'm gonna drink my coffee and get going. Quarter over three, heading back to Turku now, or going to the train station. Don't really have anything to do here since I was, you know, last weekend. So, a short trip, but got some work done. So, I guess that's good, you know. <laughs> anyway, so I'll probably catch you guys back at Turku.
What's up everyone? It's Thursday today. Haven't done much. I've only done work for like the past two or three days, so I haven't really filmed anything. I'll probably do my apartment tour in this video. Uh, I just need to clean things up a bit. Obviously, I could show it like this, but... <laughs> I don't keep my things too tidy, I'm gonna be completely honest with that. I thought that if I film a video about it, I could do it this way, but I can kinda always look back to this video older, so I think future me would appreciate the little effort. I'ma put these words in that I haven't been a clean person, but <laughs> I'll clean it for you. I thought I'd come here and just share a few words since I don't really have anything to film, then I'ma talk bullshit. I haven't really ever talked about, you know, music in any way. Cause like a lot of you have liked the beats I use in the videos and stuff like that. And really music has been a big thing for me, like my whole life. When I had the Q&A video and people asked me about inspirations, I thought about the question in like, you know, what people inspire me and what inspires me, but I didn't really think of like, music inspires me. It's always been there. I get so much motivation out of music and I have a lot of different music I listen to, like rap, rock, house music, easier music, like, you know, uh, chiller vibes. I don't even know what the genres are called, but literally I listen to all types of music. Recently, like I said in one of my vlogs, I've been listening to rock a lot. Uh, mostly like Metallica and Nirvana, Marilyn Manson, shit like that. Since a really young kid, I've been listening to bangers. For example, like Metallica was one of my favorite artists when I was like a really small kid, probably like, you know, under the age of 10. I was at the point that not too much new music was coming out and the stuff I was listening to kind of got boring and you know, I listened to them multiple times. Then I just rattled my in back to rock. I started listening to it. And really, it's been fucking non-stop for like a month. You know, I've been only listening to rock. And the thing is that I really didn't pay attention to before is the lyrics. Rock has way better bars than rap. Okay, uh, I'm a, I'm a phrase that differently. Rock has really good bars and, you know, people don't really, you know, ever look into that. They always... You put rock on and, you know, fucking starts the drums and, and guitar and shit. People don't even want to listen to the message, I think, uh, it that way, you know. Why would there be a, you know, good story? Why, were there, why would there be, you know, really meaningful words? Because the tempo doesn't really, you know, match with that. I don't know if y'all get what I mean, but some of these songs have, like, really deep meanings, but then they're, you know, fucking all over the place. Like I said, I've been really paying attention to the lyrics and stuff. And for example, like a lot of Metallica songs resonate with me at this point of time so much. Like this point of life I am right now, you know, where my thoughts are, where my uh, vision is, what I want to do, and really kind of what I've been through as well. You know, it's kind of been hitting different, let's say that. I think it's kind of affecting the way I dress as well. You know, <laughs> I rarely wear anything else but black. It's it's like uh, kind of opened a whole new thing and a way. I don't know. It's like this is like a topic I could talk about for a long time. But since I've been pretty much alone for almost a year or like, you know, mentally and what I'm, you know, planning, like I've been saying is like I've been planning everything alone. So I'm really in the mindset of like, I do not give a fuck about others opinions at all literally at all and i think now rock kind of coming in it's you know giving me even more of that it's like because really no one's listening to it it's all about uh all these fucking you know radio bangers and you know over promoted rap don't get me wrong some trap is really good a lot of it is good but still it's so like on the media it's so what's in right now rock really isn't and i think now kind of listening to it I can, you know, dig a bit deeper. Really, like I said, I could talk about this like a long time. Even like two years ago when I was at the military, a lot of kind of Metallica songs also are, you know, post-war or about war. Obviously, I wasn't in war. I'm not trying to at all, you know, uh, compare these two. Like I was the whole year in the military and, you know, military, it really is not easy. Like they put you through shit there. Literally, they put you through shit. I was in the Navy. It was a bit easier for me There was a lot of times that you know, it was really hard and 
you know, the whole kind of, how can I say it? How the, basically the military works is like, everyone degrades you, everyone gives shit on you, you do something wrong, you get absolute fucking shit. You get laid a pile of shit throughout the year. It teaches you some valuable lessons, like a lot of them. But uh, in Finland, it's kind of a different thing since uh, you're put in military without your own will. You know, in, you, in the United States and stuff, y'all army is you applying and going. In Finland, if you're a male, you know, you're going. You do not ask questions about that. I listened to a lot of rock that year as well, because it kind of fitted the whole mood of like just being angry about everything and being pissed about having to be there being pissed about about like a lot of people constantly laying shit on you because I was uh, I don't know what my military rank is like uh, in English but it's basically equivalent to sergeant I wasn't a sergeant when I was in the military but now that I got out of the military I'm a sergeant how, how it kind of works is I took care of the fuck this is actually hard to explain so in our ship there were two two uh, two like kind of leaders it was me and this this other person, and then we had uh, our kind of like crew, member of crew that was like about six or seven. So everything the crew did wrong, it was laid on me and the other person. And then for you to become basically a sergeant, you have to go through this uh, course basically. I don't know how the fuck you should call it, but yeah, that's the place where, you know, you have zero human rights. You are looked as fucking shit like absolute shit like you're the worst person in the human when you're in that course because they're training you to become you know a fucking i don't know uh i don't even know why i'm explaining this but let's go on i'll share you guys this now that i think about it like some tough times i remember there during the course one of the uh tasks you needed to complete was basically they drove us to a place where it took like a whole long back to the place where it's supposed to go and we did all types of like uh, war training. It was like mi minus 20 degrees. We're walking in the snow in the middle of nowhere, just jumping into fucking bushes. We had to walk for over 24 hours with no sleep, just go on and on and on. And obviously, you know, at some point it was like when it was dark, I didn't know if I was asleep. I didn't know if I was awake. I was just walking. I was just walking, walking. It was complete darkness. You've been walking for over like 24 hours. You don't even, you know, pay attention to it at that point. But it was like this close, I would just wobble around and like fall. Uh, we got to a place and I remember I didn't drink like at all water basically the whole time. I just kind of like passed out for like 15 minutes. It was like minus 26, I remember. I've never been that frozen in my life. That was bad. But yeah, uh, we had to go another like 10 hours and then we got to go to a place to sleep. We were kind of like the, we were the last teams to leave the place for this walk thing. So we were the la one of the last teams to arrive. Everyone else has been asleep or like, you know, going to showers and, and just chilling out. We came back and then people told us that, yeah, we can sleep like until the morning and it continues to, during the morning. Obviously when it's like a, you know, practice, it's always bullshit. So we got... Waking up at like 1 a.m. We had to go uh, do some like push-ups, sit-ups and fucking run around, all that kind of shit. And it was like a challenge as well. You got kind of ranked for that. And then after that, we were put in this uh, auditorio, basically. Uh, we had to do this test. It was like an A4 sized paper full of like, you know, numbers, letters, stuff, all like this, like lined up. No, no spaces, no nothing. And they put like horror songs of like, or not horror song, like horror play tunes of like people screaming and like, you know, all these types of fucked up things. And we had to, it was completely dark. We had to use like a, you know, like the smallest light, something that, you know, goes like this small that you have to, you know, read it like this. You have like fucking four, five, six, uh, A, C, seven, eight, nine then like one small word and you had to find the words and complete like the story and it was like the full paper through of it like i said i've been walking for like fucking 30 hours got two hours of sleep got no hydration in my body i'm there like fucking noises blasting in my head trying to you know find the words you know if you don't have a strong mind that can really fuck you up like <laughs> really 
there I don't know if it's like permitted that I can say any of these things I'm I'm just telling you know the uh, telling one story of my military if Finnish government comes at me, you know fucking come at me, man I don't really give a shit. I don't know why I like went on and explained all that But basically it started from Metallica and I listened to Metallica a lot that year like a lot of the songs that have a story It's like it might not 100% like resonate at the world we're living right now It's not that cruel compared to the time, you know Metallica was popping at like 80s and 90s, but I think there's a lot of things that are still kind of happening, but people aren't really paying attention to. If you think of the world order right now, we're in COVID. It's been a long time, lockdown after lockdown, restrictions after restrictions. And, you know, places burning around the world, places flooding around the world. I wouldn't say that we're living in a golden time right now. Talking about Metallica, talking about how the songs have, you know, resonated with me, I could go on like with each song, what kind of thoughts I get, how I can resonate it in my life or the world we're living in right now. Anyways, uh, just a little fucking blabber here. Met Metallica, that's the way I'm going right now with my music. And yeah, I just want wanted to share some stories, share some thoughts. I could keep on talking, it's... Shit, I always go on a fucking run. What I can say is like, rock is really putting me in a place I'm gonna be completely myself, you know. Cause if you think of the time they were making that music, look, you look at like live concerts and shit. Dudes were on another fucking level. That Metallica, for example, like the Moscow, 1.6 million people. Mans are fucking shouting in front of 1.6 million people. Goes up to the mic and spits in front of 1.6 million people. Like, the power that they have had is fucking out of this world, and, you know, all of that, there's so much, you know, stories and shit in Metallica, it's just, like, fucking amazing. And, obviously, like, the music, out of this world. Lil appreciation for the goats of rock. Well, there's a lot, but they're definitely up there. That's not up for debate. Yeah, so, y'all will see how this <laughs> rock, rock thing will affect my uh, dressing. It's not affecting it, it's more enhancing it. I'ma put it that way. And either this video or the next video, you will see one grill. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. Y'all will see. I'll see you guys later. Now it's filming. Let's now go. it's filming. So, what is up everyone? It's Friday today. I ordered this jacket on, it was probably like Tuesday. I was waiting for it to come on Monday, but it came on Friday. I'm here with my bro. You can see him through the mirror. And I just thought I'm gonna do my first IG live opening up this uh, fucking massive pickup. So, should we get into it? You want me to open this up? <laughs> open it up. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is like behind the scenes. <laughs> this is behind the scenes. This is absolutely behind the scenes. Rick down to the toes. <laughs> This is what y'all wanted to see, right? <laughs> if you order something and you get it in a dust bag, you know it's, you know, not gonna be a joke. <laughs> this is 100% sure my most expensive pickup I've done to this day. So I ordered two things. This is the other one. I might show this one to you guys as well. First glance. Can y'all get the vibe yet? What it is? Let's go, man. I'm fucking pumped for this shit. I'm pumped for this shit. Look at that shit, man. Flegathon, spring, summer 21. I don't know if y'all can see that. Close up on the tags. You know, I'm this kind of skinny dude, so Rick aesthetics really fucking work for me, 100%. I think we're gonna need to put this one on, man. So now YouTube gets the behind the scenes. Or does it? If this doesn't fit, I'm fucked. Fucking, if I hit the gym, I'm fucked. Can you style it on this live? 
Sure, why not? R literally, all I need to do is... That's it! Someone says he misses the vlogs when we're skating. Should we go skate? Yes, sir. Now that I'm wearing it a bit more, and I kind of got over it being tight, because I don't have too much tight clothes, but I've been wanting tight clothes, you know? So, yeah. Speaking of tight clothes, you know? Let's just get into it, man. People are leaving my fucking live when I'm opening up Rick Owens. That's, that, that's a disgrace, man. That's a disgrace, man. What the fuck are y'all doing? Like, where do you get better content? I'm fucking drinking beer, listening to house music, opening up clothes. <laughs> you know, where you get it better than that, man? <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Flexing slightly. Both of these pieces are from Phlegathon, Spring Summer 21. Like I said, I wanted tighter clothes, and I wanted something that I could fit under this, this jacket. How does the hood fit? Okay, that's it. I don't need anything else. <laughs> that's literally all the clothes you need. I look broad with this shit. <laughs> Come at me, I'll fucking tackle you, know. <laughs> that's a uniform. That's a uniform. Like, literally, I... If, if I would, if I would to wear one fit in my life, it would be this one. That shit looks uh, dope. I haven't talked to YouTube at all. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? I'm sorry, I've been on IG Live, so uh, y'all better follow me on IG, so. At 22 years old, this is the fit I'm gonna consider dying with. Let's open another. That was an IG Live. Like, I've been half pissed, like in, you know, a small, small drunk level, so. Kinda sweaty though. I'll, I'll give you guys a better look of this leather jacket on Sunday. Tomorrow we're going to a cottage. Basically the last time we're gonna go to a cottage. Basically, you know, end, end the summer. I'll show you guys some B-roll footage, you know, close-ups, details, all that shit on Sunday. So, uh, after tomorrow, I'll see you guys again. Regarding fucking Rick Owens, man. Where are we going? We're going at the summer ending party, cause Summer in Finland is temporary, but the drip is forever. <laughs> Looking nice. Looking nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. How are we feeling? I'm feeling great. Today, full send with the boys. Full send. We got the fucking grill on deck. We got some bacon, we got some corn, and we got some uh, meats. I don't eat red meat, but this is, uh, it's chicken. It's chick. We work in this bitch. I'm like a dad over here. Corn on deck, corn on deck. There we go. We're the first ones, you know, cooking this shit. Everyone else is like there and inside, so we uh, took the, you know, first spot and we took the lead. We took the lead, exactly. That was, I was going for that, you know? Someone needs to fill me in here. Yes, sir. What's up? It's Tuesday today. Been editing the video here. So if I would go over the leather jacket, that would take too much time. And there's already like 24 and a half seconds of footage in this one. Slightly more talk. Y'all have usually enjoyed the videos. I've been talking more. And I like to sometimes post videos where I just, you know, talk a bit more and, uh, be more, you know, genuine, and it's not all action. You know, it's a good balance. Doesn't have to be that much action every time. Don't want to stretch out this outro. 
too much. Next video will include the apartment tour. Uh, I'll show my tats quickly and I'll show the leather jacket. More action and more fucking material in that video. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys really soon.